All right, what is up? This is your boy, Alan Lee, coming back to you with another travel vlog. In this vlog, I am going to Los Angeles, California. And you're like, Alan, why are you going to Los Angeles? Well, it's a very last minute trip. One of my friends invited me to go to a park and rave. I've never been to one of those, but I've been to other raves or concerts, if you would say. So it's a really last minute trip. This ticket was really expensive. It was like $200 from literally just from SF to Los Angeles. Like it's a lot of money for a small ass trip just cause it was so last minute. So if you're looking for last minute tickets, they're gonna be expensive. Well, about to board the flight. It's around 7.30 AM and I will be on my way to Los Angeles, California, the city of angels. And it's gonna be a quick weekend trip, but I'm here to bring you guys along. So let's go. After I got to LAX, I met up with my friend Morgan. We picked up our rental car and drove on over to a restaurant called Egg Slut. If you don't know Egg Slut, it's a sandwich spot that is well known for its egg sandwiches. And we got a fire bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Once we were done, we eventually made our way to Eastvale, which is a nice suburban neighborhood like 45 minutes away from Los Angeles. It was a really, really nice Airbnb. The hosts were awesome. We just chilled and relaxed before we went back out for dinner. Once dinner time rolled around, we found a restaurant near our Airbnb. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name of the place, but I do know this place had a beautiful outdoor venue. After we ate, that was basically the end of our first day. Hello again, it is Saturday and we are on a mission. Because these drive-in raves don't allow outside alcohol because they want to sell you like $20 beers and they also search your car before you enter the venue, we had to figure out how to sneak our claws and soju in. First, we stopped by BevMo and grabbed like 10 soju bottles. We got a mixture of strawberry and passion fruit. Personally, after trying passion fruit, I am not a fan of it. Then we went on over to Target to pick up these nice biodegradable coolers. And then we went back to the Airbnb to finalize the details of the plan. So we got some, we got two coolers. We're gonna stuff some soju at the bottom and put ice on top of it. And then just gonna cr crush up the ice, put the ice over the soju, and hopefully they don't dig through it, which I'm expecting they won't. Cause why would they dig through it? Like they won't touch or think cause of COVID. That's what our, we are assuming. So we shall see how it goes, but we're off to the festival soon. So stay tuned. All right, time to crush the ice. To crush it, we just aggressively <laughs> smashed it against the concrete. Then we packed our white claws and soju at the bottom of the coolers. Also made sure to mix in Capri Suns, Waters, and Red Bulls at the top. And voila, just like that, our yeah. cooler is ready for inspection. Yes. So we arrived at the venue and we were greeted by a security guard that was going to search our car. But just like we thought, they only looked at the top of our cooler and didn't dig through all of that ice because, you know, Corona. <laughs> After we made it through, we drove over to our parking spot. We got tickets for the blue lot, which is only like two rows back from the stage. And we were like really close compared to like some other people like all the way in the back. I was like, dang, <laughs> we're really close, which is sick. <laughs> What's this? I was like, beer. And she's like, is that the only one? I was like, yeah, all we got is and red bulls. This is literally right here. Wait, she didn't take the Bud Light? No, she did take the Bud Light. That's oh, it. okay, that's the only thing she, she knew. Took, she took the yeah, that was the deep part one. The missile is aimed to blow you out of the frame. This 
Thank you for tuning in with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And 